MicroCity started as a solo only game, so I'll explain the rules for the solo mode first so that you understand everything. Let's do it. You start off by placing the city board on the table any way you like. You just have to remember that all the cards need to be facing their A side up. All the cards on the table create the city board. Each card is called a district and each district consists of four quarters of different colors which have different actions and give different resources. Start off by placing your engineer in one of the residential quarters, which are the red ones. In my example, I'll just place it here for now. Place eight investment tokens of your color next to the board, place your company card next to the city board, and place four markers on spot zero of the coal track, zero of the steel track, zero of the wood track, and two on the mountain track. Pick a building that you wish to construct during this game. In this example, I'll take this skyscraper and now take the time track and place the marker on the spot that matches the difficulty level you wish to choose. In my case, I'm choosing easy mode, so I place the marker on spot number 15. Take two dice of your color, and especially for your first games, it's very good to have the very handy player aid close to you. It shows you all the phases of the game, describes all the quarters and all the icons that appear in the game. Take six project cards and put them in your hand. At this point, we're ready to begin the game. Okay, so how do you play this game? Each round consists of four phases. The preparation phase, the project phase, the investment phase, and the final phase. In the project phase, all you do is you roll your dice, these are now your dice pool. At this moment, you can manipulate the values of the dice by spending resources or money. You can also spend resources or money to remove investment tokens from the board, but I'll tell you more about that in a moment. The next phase is the project phase. Here you either play one of your cards or retrieve the cards from the discard pile. When you play a card, you look at the three segments of the card. The first one is the number of spots the engineer is going to move when you play a card. Two or one, depending on the card. The second segment is the basic action. You can do that for free, you don't need any dice to perform it. The second one is the advanced action. You actually need the dice of the appropriate values to perform that action. These actions are usually better. Just to give you an example, I'll play this card which moves my engineer one spot and allows me to perform a basic action. I can't perform the advanced action because I don't have a six value on any of my dice. The basic action allows me to take two money or one resource of my choice. I guess I'll go for wood because I need that for my building. At this point, this card goes to the discard pile. Now let's move on to the third phase, which is the investment phase. If there is no investment token on the quarter that my engineer has finished his move on, I can perform the action of that quarter. In this case, the basic action is gain one call. Because I have a die matching the value on the quarter, I perform the advanced action, which in this case is gaining two call, which I mark on my resource track. Each quarter has its specific basic or advanced action and they are all explained here in the player aid. Now let's move on to the final phase where you place an investment marker on the quarter you just finished your action. You move the time track by one spot and you get one money if you haven't used any of your dice during this round. You'll continue playing the game, gaining resources and money until you're finally able to afford building one stage of your building card. In order to do that, you have to perform an advanced action on the residential quarter or play a special project card which has the word build on it. Just to give you an example, in the preparation phase, this is what I rolled, I have a two and a six. In the project phase, 
I'm going to play, hmm, let me see, this card, which lets me move one spot and remove one token from any area. I'll remove it from here. And now in the investment phase, I have a die with a value of six, which actually matches the residential portion, which lets me perform the build action as stated here on the player aid. To perform the build action, you spend the appropriate resources or money, marking it on the resource track. In this case, this is the first step of the building. I went down on my uh, resource track by three. I mark it with an investment token. And in the final phase, I mark the quarter because I've used this action. What you have to be super careful about is taking care of your investment tokens. As you can see, you use your investment tokens for marking the actions you take on the city board, as well as marking them on the goal track. Which means that during the game, you will have less and less investment tokens to work with. In this case, to finish this goal, to finish and win the game, I will actually have to place five investment tokens total on the five stages of the building, which only gives me three investment tokens to work with. So as time passes, it's more and more difficult to perform your actions. If at any point, all your investment tokens are placed on the city board or on your goal card, and you have no investment tokens to work with, you automatically lose the game. You also lose the game if the time track reaches zero. You win the game immediately if you build all the stages of the goal card.